the largest annual quilt show in the world. We get around 60,000 people from literally all parts of the world. We have over 1,500 quilts on display here, but we also have over 1,000 vendor booths. There's no shortage of things to shop for. We have upwards of 350 different classes, basically everything you could want to know about quilting. We have all of these gorgeous quilts that are on display. Some are traditional quilts, like you might see on a bed. Others are redefining that a little bit. Natural settings, floral imagery, botanical imagery, these are all really popular themes across the spectrum of quilting. My name is Carol Breyer Fowler Gentry. I am a quilt artist. That means I make fine art, but I'm using traditional quilting materials and traditional quilting techniques. A block from my studio in Paducah, Kentucky, there's a Bradford pear tree that sheds leaves in all these amazing colors and patterns. So I picked up a leaf and scanned it and started playing with the design and abstracting it and then adding color in. The whole thing was drawn full size on paper and then I cut out each shape from the paper and attach it to fabric and cut around each one and so they became separate templates that I pieced together to make the complex design. And then I do a lot of quilting with different colors of thread and that's really the completion of the piece of art. We have actually a number of international exhibits this year, one from Taiwan, one from Jerusalem. And then we always have that international aspect to our show because we have a judge show component in which the world's top quilters send their works to compete. Every time I'm going to Jerusalem, I always feel such a holy spirit. And everyone who goes to Jerusalem says so. It's something special in this city. Every quilt is really different and everyone has his own Jerusalem. So you can find many, many different Jerusalem here. We have a couple of exhibits here from the Studio Art Quilt Associates. Basically, they're an organization of art quilters, and their work really represents the cutting edge of contemporary quilt artistry. A really popular movement in quilting right now is called modern quilting. It's based in tradition, traditional techniques, and even sometimes some slightly traditional designs, but then tweaked a bit. So they're going to use um, more modern colors, modern design aesthetic, a lot of negative space, things that you might not expect to see in quilting. Some people walk up and go, that's a quilt, because it looks like a photograph or a painting, but it is in fact um, constructed with fabric. This exhibition is called What's for Dinner, and we thought it would be interesting to do a piece that looked sort of like a place setting, and also really wanted to have the exhibition look like a dinner party. There is one that's a sushi one and it's three-dimensional and it's wonderful, it like comes to life on the dinner plate where the octopus legs and it has buttons on it. It's just graphically stunning to look at. One of my favorite unusual ones is a meal ready to eat and it talks about how you get this, you know, how you get this thing that's in a package and looks about as unappetizing as you can. And the artist was fantasizing about being able to eat something other than that. It's three a layers. A quilt is three layers stitched together. Yeah. And it doesn't matter what you stitch what to what. And it doesn't matter what size it is. And it doesn't really matter what the format is. 